Well, have you ever thought to yourself, I should be more involved in the political process, or at the very least, be more educated about it? Well, let's be honest, that takes time and effort, and many of us, well, we just don't. Good news, a Minnesota couple decided to take some of that effort out of it for us. It's been quite a bit of work but worth it. Melissa Schoenberg and her husband have been busy since November. The contentious election made her realize she just wasn't involved, at least not enough. I had several conversations with family and friends. I was on Facebook doing the likes, shares, and comments, and all of that communication went nowhere. It was empty. It's empty if it doesn't go to the right person and I wasn't sending it off to my representatives. I started researching bills and calling my legislators and contacting them by so many different means. And it was time consuming and totally deflating. I received very little to no response. So I could either go back to my bah humbug, democracy is dead, or um, change the narrative a little bit. So my husband and I built the Take Back Your State website. To be informed takes a lot of legwork, as you yes. have found out. Does this take some of the legwork out of it for people? So our goal with the website is to make the ability to take action easy and transparent by simply going to the site, clicking on an issue that you know, you're interested in. You are able to see where it's sitting, um, in the legislature. So for instance, this one has just been introduced. It was never passed. Your representatives will show up on the screen and you can type any sort of comment to them. And you click yay or nay and the site goes and does its business. Before the end of the year, we'll have functionality so people can see how their vote compared to their legislators' vote. So come election time, they can make some informed decisions based off of personalized data. But why bother with the state level when so much is happening right now with our federal government? Melissa says our states have a lot of power over our taxes, education, and health care. And oh yeah, there's the future. Our state legislators are likely our future leaders in Congress. And if we evaluate them at home and they have our best interest at heart, they will when they move on as well. Take Back Your State isn't just here in Minnesota. All of this information on every bill that's introduced, who sponsored it, and how people voted can be found in 10 states with more to come. All of this information at your fingertips because one Minnesota woman did some self-reflection. I only had myself to blame for a failure in democracy because I did absolutely nothing to affect change. But then she did. It's such a cool idea. It seems so simple, but there's so much information out there. Just think of that. Every bill that's introduced, who sponsored it, and how those legislators are voting, and a way to talk to them and tell you how you how you feel about it, and then track and see how your other uh, people, constituents, right. are, are feeling as well. The very cool thing about this is they don't put any of the party affiliation of the sponsors on the bills mm -hmm. because they don't want people to have a preconceived notion of what the bill is before they read it. Right. So you don't know if it was uh, proposed by a Democrat or a Republican. I love this. I mean, it's one thing to groan and moan on Facebook, but she took her frustration and applied it to something that not only helps her, but others in the community. Absolutely. You know? And I mean, just think about all that legwork, even oh. as reporters, you know. Even you building can... the website. I know. Well, her and her husband are IT specialists, oh, and okay. so like, b doing code is something that they're uh, accustomed to. So kudos to you guys for doing that. We'll have more information on our website about their website. And by the way, they are filing to become a 501c3. Mm -hmm. And she says the more people that use the site, the better it becomes. And uh, so all we have to do is kind of go and give her some content, if that makes any sense. Get on there. there Check you go. out our website. Yeah. Our website. Yeah. All right. We'll be right back. But first, still to come.